Hello everybody, welcome to Grace Bear Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, today's beer comes from Furstenberg. These guys are out of Germany. Uh, those guys have been brewing beer for hundreds of years. Uh, they knew it. They do know how to make a beer over there. But a lot of the beers over there are made with no extracts or adjuncts, uh, according to the the, the right bot. I think that's how it's pronounced. Maybe not. Uh, beer could only have uh, barley, water, hops, yeast, four ingredients. Nothing else. Nothing else is in there. No corn, no rice, no adjuncts, nothing else. So, uh, and they've been brewing a lot of beers, a lot of tasty beers, uh, for a long, 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 long time. Now, these beers don't have a lot of big bold flavor taste especially in the pills or other lagers but they're very easy drinking uh, very sessionable if you will and they're very clean and crisp uh, technically this is what Budweiser and Miller and Coors should have been brewing all alone instead of throwing a bunch of horse shit into their beers uh, to make them cheaper to brew so uh, this comes to me from Amanda. She contacted me, and she's evidently a big wig uh, there at uh, uh, at the distributor that does their releases into the United States. And she contacted me and said she'd send me a few, and I said sure. So uh, I don't expect this to be a huge, whopping, outstanding, world-class beer, guys. It is to me. It is a very nice lawnmower beer, especially for the people that get this over in Germany. It's probably very reasonably priced over there, where they, it's a little higher over here uh, from the transit across the pond. And uh, it's a clean beer. It's a very clean beer, and there's no garbage in it. So that's the biggest thing I can tell you about the beers is that uh, Furstenberg does, and, and probably most of the German brewers. They don't put a lot of garbage in their beer. A lot like the craft beer people are here. Now they do some off, out of the box stuff, but they're not throwing a bunch of ingredients uh, in there to uh, make the beer cheaper to brew. Uh, not substituting corn or rice for barley, which the big guys do. Alright, let's get into this one. Amanda, thanks so much for sending it to me. And like I said, this is probably not going to blow my hair back or my socks off or anything. But it should be a very crisp, and I call these lawnmower beers, very light, 4.8%. Yep, 4.8%. So any of these less than 5 percenters, more like session beers, session lagers, session ales. Uh, very clean, very crisp, very low ABV beers that you can come in from working in the yard or whatever you're doing, have one, maybe even two, and go back to doing what you were doing without being inebriated, guys. So, uh, says here the Furstenberg Premium Pilsner, one of the only handful of premium designated premium beers in Germany, and long thought to be the first German Pilsner brewed in accordance to the Czech Pilsner method, and has an alcohol of 4.8%. Water is actually taken from the source of the Danube River deep in the Black Forest. Well. And as far as IBUs, uh, let me see if it's over. I don't have it. So it shouldn't be bitter. Uh, it should be very easy drinking. So let's get on with it. <coughs> and see where we end up on this. Alright, let's just cap off this bad boy. 
And like I said, guys, I appreciate Amanda sending us, but I'm not expecting anything super outstanding. Uh, it's probably not going to have enough taste for this guy. But it's something that's going to be very crisp, very clean, very easy drinking, very sessionable, and something that's not going to knock you down. A great summertime beer, especially if you want to drink multiples and not get too inebriated. So, once again, Amanda, thank you so much. Uh, about a half a finger of head and up pour. Very light, golden color. Uh, perfectly clear, guys. Food pranks for this. It says cuisine, Japanese, German. Uh, cheese of pepper, Monterey, pepper jack. And meat is poultry and fish. Glass part of flute, Pilsner glass, poco, mug, sounded. This is my uh, lager, Pilsner glass. And not recommended for extended celery, guys. And the head is down to about a quarter of a finger. Let's get a nose to it. A little grassy, a little grainy. Some nice crackery malts, ready malts. Smells like a typical Pilsner ass slash lager. Well, first beer of the day. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Amanda. Very clean, very crisp. No lingering aftertaste, hardly any bitterness on the back end. This is something you come in like you're going to drink a glass of water or iced tea. It is so light and easy drinking, you can pour this all in there and, and drink it all. It's to quench your thirst, especially on a day like today when it's 90 degrees already in the middle of May. And it wasn't a week ago, it was 50 degrees. Had to have a coat on. Now you're sweating your butt off. Oh. What can I say? Very clean, very crisp, very refreshing. A superb lawnmower beer, guys. Especially if you were doing something and you wanted to have something ice cold. 4.8%. Go back to what you were doing. Perfect candidate for that. And that's what they are brewing these. And like I said, it would be a great transitional beer. To drink something, if you're drinking Bud, Miller, Coors, to drink something a little cleaner, a little crisper, with a lower ABV, or a low ABV, some of their light beers that are maybe down to that uh, session under 5%. But something that's very easy drinking. So that's where we're going to leave it. I'm going to let her taste it, and we'll come back and do the final chug. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Very easy drinking beer, guys. Uh, nothing to write home about. A very clean, very crisp, well-made German Pilsner. Bottom line. Uh, if they would package this over here, like they do the Budweiser's and the Miller's and the Coors and these big 18, 24-packs, and it was priced the same, I would buy this over that horse piss any day, guys. So... Good beer. Decent beer for what they're going for. It's right on the mark. Very, very nice beer. Not something that I would buy or purchase because it's a little too light for me. Uh, but uh, a very nice transitional beer if you want to drink something with quality ingredients instead of a bunch of adjuncts that the big guys are doing over here. Final chug. That is so clean and so crisp. Very nice. I'm grading this on what it is. This is not a super hoppy beer or a salad or anything. This is a low ABV German style Pilsner. So, and, and as far as I'm concerned, guys, uh, this is definitely an A for what it's for what it is for where it was going. So I don't think I don't think it's quite to the ten. But I do think it's an A beer. I'm going to give this the 8, which is A minus. Numeric grade for me being 92 on the style. Like I said, it's not something I'm going to run out and buy a case of or, or purchase because it doesn't have enough taste for me. My palate has moved beyond that. But for the, the regular Pilsner lager drinkers, especially if you're in Germany, I'm sure this is a top seller over there. So uh, let's run over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says 79, okay. 
I kind of expected that yeah, from these guys here. Uh, and over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer says it is 17 overall and 40 in the style. Didn't blow anybody's hair back up, socks off over there, did it? And a final check him over to Untapped. They have 3.11, which is in their B minus score. I'm just not going to trash that beer like that. It is what it says it is. It is a premium log, uh, premium pilsner at 4.8%. If you're looking for something that's 8, 9, 10%, it's going to blow your head off and have all these heavy malts or heavy this or heavy that. That's not what this was designed to do. It is a very light, crisp, premium pilsner malt at 4.8%. Uh, I think it's exactly what they say it is. Uh, so, like I said, if I was just getting into beers and I lived over there, this would probably be the one I would start off on. A great entry-level beer. So, if you've had it, guys, let me know what you think. Come on back tomorrow. Let's dig something out of the fridge. See you then.